If you don't know Matty Wilkinson, well, you should because he's an amazing chef. Right now, you are the Culinary Creative Director at Montalto Vineyard. I love the food there. Gee, it's good. And this is a dish that's slightly unexpected. You've got some cabbage, you've got parmesan, soy. Weird combination. It is, <laughs> and it came from a crazy story. Yep. We'll get into it. Okay. And I'll explain we're going. If you can drizzle the uh, cabbage, any yep. old white cabbage, mm -hmm. with the um, ex virgin olive oil. Okay. How much? A lot or a Yeah, little? go hard. Go. Okay. Amazing. There we go. So I'll just rub this. Yep. So what this dish came from was a very good friend of mine. We were trialling a cabbage dish. I completely forgot about a cabbage on the barbecue. Yep. And we were like, whatever. Forget it, we'll throw it in the oven. Yeah. We'll, uh, we've got to cook this hanger steak. So we threw it in the oven and as it came out, we decided to start throwing stuff on it. So I went into my uh, cupboard. Yep. Rice vinegar, soy. Yep. Jakey got the parmesan out and then I had some hers. We chopped it all over, we threw it in. Sat down at the table, beautiful hanger steak. And this thing, and as we were eating it, we just, we, everything, we lost focus on it and we just came to the cabbage. And it was that delicious. Well, it's so simple. So the idea yeah. is to burn it. Okay. <laughs> so like with certain vegetables, when vegetables have X amount of moisture content within them, mm -hmm. that burning just creates and traps the heat within and doesn't allow um, steam to uh, come out. A bit yes. like zucchini, eggplant. Yeah. With cabbage, it's the same thing. Mm. Give it a good burn, mm -hmm. traps in the moisture, and it steams within. Right, and so you get what, like a, almost a buttery f texture and flavour yeah. from the cabbage. Yeah. yeah, and the soy vinegar adds that acid and salt, parmesan that richness of cheesy and the herbs some freshness. I'm really interested in this because it's not a hundred ingredients, just a few very different ingredients that you probably wouldn't put deal with soy, but you're making this work, so... Yeah. This I, don't, is I think my nan's turning in a grave about this one. It's not very <laughs> British, no. but um, you'll see at the end. Oh, wow, look at that. So you see, we'll turn that. Yeah. We do that on both sides. Mm. Even further you can go, and that's why if you've got a barbecue, it's really good to get that charriness into it. So basically, you're giving us the permission to whack that barbecue on high heat, forget about the cabbage, cook it as long as possible, get it really black. 100%. <laughs> okay. This is one of the only times you can actually overcook something. Okay, this is a good idea. So we are going to char this on all sides. And so if you're cooking it indoors, char it on a grill pan like this, open the windows, <laughs> into a tray, into the oven, and cook it even further until it's really blackened on the outside. Yeah, a good 25 to 35 minutes. Sounds good. So, cabbage out of the oven, as I said, it's burnt. Mm -hmm. But you, like burnt cabbage in here. Burnt cabbage, <laughs> but you can already, you know, the, the warmth that's coming out. Mm. We're just going to finish it off with some extra virgin olive oil. So straight over? Straight over. Drizzle as you do. Ooh, and then soy good. and rice vinegar. Okay, that's for you. So you can be quite liberal with this. This is not like a, like a <laughs> set thing. It's just about getting that bit of vinegar into there. Yep. And then again with the soy. Yeah, sometimes the best... Recipes come from, you know, those nights where you just really have those creative explosions, right? <laughs> <laughs> but it's also adding there's like a dressing, so that oil there that's just yeah. sitting in. Yep. And then if you can go wild with the parmesan, oh, go yes. hard. Okay. Straight over. You want fresh parmesan for yeah. this. You want a fresh More seed grain Yeah. That's just pretty as is, isn't it? Perfect. Okay. And then. The old roughage of the herb. Nice. Mix them all together. So what do you got there? So I've got a little bit of dill. Dill, I love dill. Mm, Parsley for the freshness and that little bit of chive just for that onion kick. Mix them up mm -hmm. and then sprinkle. Okay. And there we go. That looks good. Charred cabbage. So how do we eat this glorious thing? So I'm going to wedge it. Mm -hmm. Just move it a little bit. Here we are. Cut through, oh. <laughs> and then we'll cut this little wedgy bit there. And you see that extra soy and vinegar there as a dressing. Yes, it's really Go for absorbed it. it, hasn't it? Yeah. Yeah. You see how it steamed through. So good. Wow. That is 
<laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> that is so good. It's like, like a flavour bomb. You've got everything. You've got smokiness. You've got this umami flavour from the parmesan and the soy and then ding, a little vinegar. And the herbs. You're a legend. It's a good dish. <laughs> so good. You've got to try this at home. I'm going to have some more.